For those of you that work in bulk, I know how tedious this can be, especially when you're working in Photoshop and you have multiple images to remove the background. Now here, let me save you all the time and show you a really cool trick which automates this whole process. So all you need to do is simply sit back and press play. Once you're inside Photoshop, the first thing is to get yourself the Actions panel. You can do this by going to Window and get yourself the Actions. This will give you this panel right here. You can move it anywhere you want. You can dock it or you can have it as a separate panel. But in here, you can create yourself a new folder and we're just going to call this one anything that you want. So you can press OK and there we go. We now have a new Actions folder. Within this Action folder, we also want to create a Action and give this once again any name that you want. This will automatically set it to this folder right here. You can also set yourself any function key if you wanted to create a shortcut. So for example, if you press F2, this will activate it and play the action. You can also set it to Shift and F2 if you have a specific shortcut which already uses F2. But you can also set yourself any color that you want. And this is pretty much like a label. Once you're ready, you can press record. And now, once you see this red light, everything that you do inside of Photoshop now will be tracked and recorded. So the first thing to do is we want to tell Photoshop to create a new document. We can go to a file and get ourselves a new and set this to 3000 times 3000. We can then go ahead and press create. And there we go. We now have the first action recorded. What you will need to do is get yourself all of your images in one specific folder and you want to hold Control or Command and A and highlight all of your images. You can right click, go to rename and just type in a number one and this will rename all of your photos to have one and then a number one. We also want to select them all and we want to get rid of the one just so it doesn't confuse Photoshop. So this will give you one all the way to 100. Now, once you've got yourself all of the images, this is the part where it requires a little bit of clicking or pressing enter, because what you would do is you would drag and drop this into Photoshop and all of these hundred images require you to apply them. You can do this by pressing enter a hundred times and this will apply all of the images. You can even quickly press it and this will apply more than one at once. It will take a little bit longer to process but there we go, it's now applied them onto here. Now from here, the next step is to target every single image one by one and tell Photoshop to remove this background. You just want to move your contextual taskbar right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, hold Alt or Option key and left click on this eyeball on the 100th image. This will only show this one and you can see it will Copy this step as well. You then want to go ahead and press remove background. And there we go. We now have the first one recorded. From here, we're going to tell Photoshop that we want it to move on to the next one. Once again, holding Alt or Option key, left click on the eye, select this layer and remove background. You want to once again, holding Alt, left click on this one, select this one and remove background. And you want to do this a hundred times all the way to the end. Now to save you all the trouble, I'm not going to make you all have to do this because it will be so time consuming. So I will put links down below to this action. You can just download it and you won't have to do this step. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and import the preset that I'll be putting in the description down below. All you need to do to load it is to go to the lines and go to load actions. Once you've done that, you want to get yourself this action right here, click on load, and there we go. You now have all of the actions all the way to one. And now if you want to, you can get yourself the action, select this one, which will say play and press the play button. This can be a little bit time consuming because it will load all the hundred images and also remove the background at the same time. And there we go. As you can see, it's finished processing and it will also hide all of your images. This is so that you can specifically target any of them. If you wanted to only focus on this one, you can bring it back and look at this one only. Now, if you want to bring them all back, what you can do is you can hold shift and then left click, drag this up 
and go all the way to the top while staying within this column. And what this will do is it will unhide all of them. And as you can see, it now looks like some crazy abstract wallpaper that we've just created. Now you're probably wondering what exactly would you do if you only had, let's say 50 images or 20, because if you try to play this action and you don't have hundred images, you will get an error message. What you would do is you would play the action as normal and you will get an error when it reaches the problem or when it reaches that number 10. It will say cannot place document, but that's fine. You just want to press okay. And now you just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, get yourself to the 10th one, which would be this action right here. And what you would do is you would play it from here. And there we go. Same thing, but this time it's only done it to 10 of the images. We can bring all of these back. And as you can see, the background has now been removed. And that's pretty much it. That is how you use actions in Photoshop to remove multiple backgrounds at once in bulk. You may also like this next video up on the screen, but until next time, I'll see you all in that next video.